Hey guys, this is FD, aka Dark Frozen Depths, back with an Atogi Frontier video. Sorry if I haven't been keeping up on event videos for this. Some events are popping up very quickly and are gone like a day or two later on. For instance, we did have a good opportunity to go a lot of equipment, even a witch's um equipment and whatnot. So hopefully you are double checking the game every single day because an event can be here and gone before you know it. Same case with me, too. But, um, anyways, this is two events I'm going to cover in this one video at once. And also, if you have previously gone through the, um, event Lies and Truths of the Lake, there's still time to claim your stuff. You just can't do any stages right now. So you have a few more days to actually do that. But, first off is this event. Which is another subjugation battle, which is going to take your BP. And it's pretty much a boss that you need to kill. It has almost 300,000 HP on level 60. Level 80 is almost 4, 440,000. And level 100 is 830,000. The main thing is the fact that it seems to be darkness based, so light characters will probably do a lot more. And take less damage. I got two five star characters that are on light, so there's that. And then with light or darkness, you don't really take weakness damage ever, so you could use wood, water, or even fire characters too, but it's best to use light for best results because you'll deal weakness damage, but you'll take less. The player always gets advantage for that. But Anyways, they also suggest you get some HP boosting items too because now the um the food effects are also stacking with leader effects and even um spirit effects, so I can actually get quite a lot of HP. So bring your best characters, especially if they're light based, give them some extra HP. They even suggest one that's like a extra thousand HP, but it's rank 35. I'm only rank 30. So that said just get the best HP boost you can and go with that. Biggest thing is the fact that this boss will, and sorry you hear stuff in the background, I'm not exactly in my own place, but um, this boss will deal a lot of damage and then on top of that it gets even higher when it buffs itself. If you have light attribute of course you're taking less, but it says something about Dazzling as well. So I'm guessing it's Dizzy State. You're going to have to prepare against Dizzy, so you're not hitting your own party members or whatnot. So that said, you're going to need some protection against Dizzy. There's different foods and all that, some accessories and whatnot. But that's the whole thing with that. So pretty much go in, fight the boss over and over, and try to get the rare skill if you want. Dark Matter probably will be a very good skill. There's a lot of A-Rank skills they give from this. I managed to miss the one from the previous event because I didn't do it enough times. But, anyways. This probably could be a good Darkness skill. And then, from what I found out, it seems that it can mix different elements with some skills. Like, you can put a Dark skill on a Wind person, and they can somehow still deal weakness damage on a Light enemy. Even though those still have the wind effect in there too. So it's weird, but you can combine stuff like that. I'm still looking into it, but it might mean that you can do doubly weak or doubly resistant damage. Who knows? But, anyways, that's all for this one. The other event's a little bit easier, if you want to be honest, depending on how strong your teams are. The main thing with this is just going through the stages. Period. It's a map quest, which really is just basically storyline in its own right. So, you pretty much go through 1 through 1, 10 through 5, and then you eventually beat 10 5, 10 5, and it will be unlock hard. Beat that on hard, and you've gotten everything. Period. So, it's more of a case of just go through and win. Simple. But you get 
event rewards from all of this. There's premium tickets and everything. A Togi Stones, you get a copy of Tammy, which is the event character. It's also said that she drops, I think, consistently or just guaranteed one time only on 10-5 on both versions. So, if you're calling 10-5 hard, you should have three copies of her. But definitely goes through as far as you can and get as much stuff as you as you can get. There's um some um weapons and accessories that are pretty strong too. So there's that as well. But anyways. That's all for this. More of this might come soon. I'm actually feeling a little bit swamped with games, so I'm not entirely sure if I'll continue a togi. But I do like how the game is, and I do like playing it, so unfortunately, if I do drop it, I will do a video letting people know. But going back and forth between this, another game called Kamihime Project, a few other games I play, and then I'm also going through some family issues and whatnot, probably why my voice doesn't sound as upbeat as before. It's just a lot of stuff to really do and deal with at once, so I may have to cut some things out. I'm currently in the process of trying to get my own place, so that's going to take a minute, but yeah, it's just a lot going on at once, and I may have to cut some things back, at least for a little bit, so anyways, that's all for this. More of this will hopefully come soon, and that's all for now, guys. Take care.